In 1948, British author George Orwell predicted what is becoming Obama's America in his terrifying masterpiece, 1984. In that cautionary, dystopian novel, the world devolved into a cynical society of unemployment, conformity, and limited privacy inhabited by people who were little more than human mannequins. Lacking ambition and self-involved with petty distractions, they were allowed to do only what the government demanded. Today, so many Americans have stopped looking for work, that actual unemployment can no longer be measured. True to the 1984 novel, the media on television, online and in print tells people which political party is acceptable, and which parties should be abandoned. Social media appears to be censoring conservative voices, while providing communist criminal trolls a way to personally destroy yet more conservatives. To destroy millions of free thinkers who refuse to conform. Millions who dare to speak new ideas. Ideas which are selectively branded and eliminated. The truth, therefore, is eliminated with the flick of a switch at social media as well as at government levels. Free speech once the cornerstone of America is becoming limited to only what the government decides people should be allowed to say. Millions of personal lives are now regularly ruined, as surely as the communist Russian government killed millions of Russian citizens in the early 20th century purges, which actually happened. Obama was raised on the knee of communist poet Frank Marshall Davis, who was probably actually Obama's biological father. Davis' poems were often admiring tributes to the bloody Soviet Russian army, which killed millions of its own citizens. Obama's birth certificate posted on the White House website has been found by statewide law enforcement and countless graphic experts to be a pathetically obvious criminal forgery. This is not theory or fiction. This is fact. Iraq has led by example. When we took our trip to Africa and visited his home country in Kenya. Congress confirmed that 33 witnesses were rescued from the attack on Benghazi. But after almost two years, Obama has refused to identify those witnesses. Congress usually knows such things within 48 hours. Are the witnesses still alive? Or have they been murdered to shut them up? This too, is not theory or fiction. This is fact. That, from a president who says disturbing things like this as a supposed There's joke. What's the difference between a hot mom and a pit bull? A pit bull is delicious. If you like your health care plan, you can keep your health care plan. Now on top of all that, Obamacare is already killing people from children with cancer to AIDS victims who can no longer afford life-saving treatment. And according to Congress, Obamacare, run by the IRS, demands to know for which party the patients voted. Vote! Voting's the best revenge! It is clear Obamacare has one purpose. To kill off enough Republican voters by denying them health care that in five years or less, Democrats will win elections forever. That is an old communist way of winning elections. Communist Russia's purges killed 40 million Russian citizens, for the exact same purpose. You can stop this horror. Call, write, Twitter and Facebook all Republican members of the Congressional House of Representatives. Forcefully tell House Representatives to demand that Obama produce the Benghazi witnesses, and make sure they are the actual witnesses. Demand a vote on House Resolution 442 which reverses all actions unlawfully performed by Obama. Tell the Republican House to repeal Obamacare, and make the repeal absolute and permanent. And tell Congressional Republicans that now is the time for them to demand all of Obama's sealed personal records. Benghazi Witnesses. House Resolution 442. Repeal Obamacare. Demand Obama's personal records be unsealed. Demand those things now while you still have enough free speech left to do it. As America goes, so goes the rest of the world. Do not sit and be idle. Heed Orwell's famous and terrifying warning, 
Stop Obama's destructive agenda now before Obama's political operatives silence your free speech completely. Saying, we're gonna punish our enemies.